Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Janae if you are new here and I make motherhood, lifestyle, and faith related videos. I have a 15 month old daughter named Sage and another little one on the way due in a couple of months. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about, well, I'm not gonna be talking, we're not gonna have a conversation. I'm gonna just be telling you my mommy favorites in this video. So let's jump right in. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you nine of my current favorites. Now these favorites are like, I call them mommy favorites because they're for me more than they're for my daughter. So I will put a little disclaimer. This video is not sponsored in any way. I did not get paid to say anything. However, some of the products were sent to me. So what that basically means is that some companies sent me these products for free. So I obviously didn't have to pay for them. But if I didn't like the product, which happens sometimes, I just don't ever mention it on my channel and I reach out to them and say, hey, sorry, this product doesn't work for me or I don't love it, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Some of these I did indeed buy with my own money. So I just wanted to say that first. All right, let's jump into number one. So this first one is this Miss Fong diaper bag. As you can see, it is very stylish and cute and it's a very nice size. Um, I have three diaper bags total, but this one I've been using for the past couple of months and I absolutely love it. My other diaper bags have pockets, but not this many pockets. And it's a really like perfect size. It's not like a gigantic monster of a bag that I have to be carrying everywhere, but it's definitely not small either. So I just, I just love this thing. I will leave everything in this video linked down below if you guys wanna go check it out. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be the perfect size bag for having two kids because just the sheer amount of pockets and roominess. So this is like, I think it's gonna be perfect. So just a little quick little overview of this bag. It has two zipper pockets on the outside. They're really nice size. As you can see my hand, it's really roomy in there. And then on the side, there is two insulated pockets. They're open, but like I like to keep either my water bottle or Sage of sippy cups in the side since it keeps it nice and insulated. There's a nice size pocket on the outside. And then in this main compartment, there's a lot. There's like a big zipper pouch, another zipper pouch, three pockets, another zipper pouch, and then two more insulated compartments for like bottles to go in. And then the big main compartment. Also, the last thing about this diaper bag is the amount of straps it has. You can wear it so many different ways, which I love because my husband, I usually have these off in a way, tucked in the back of the bag, um, but my husband loves the backpack style of the bag and that's how he wears it. I personally like the long tote where I strap it, you know, hanging around my neck and it hangs to the side or the basic, you know, to, to strap around your arm or shoulder type of way. So it has many different ways you can wear it, which is also nice. So moving on to number two is the Nui Baby Cam. Now it's not advertised as a baby cam. I think it's just called the Nui Cam, indoor cam or something like that. But I use it as a baby camera and guys, I really like this product. There is a few flaws, which I'm going to share with you really, really quick, but overall I love it. It is my new favorite. Um, and I use it every day, obviously, to check on Sage when she's sleeping. Hey guys, so I'm out on a date and that doesn't happen very often, but I wanna check on my baby and see if she's sleeping yet in her crib. My mom is watching her, but um, this is so cool. So this is the first day I set this up and I'm getting to try it out. So I just go on to this little app right here and then I click on the camera and then I can kind of scroll around her room and see if they're in there, which they clearly aren't, but, and see her in her crib. So that's pretty cool. And I could also talk to her, like, from here if I wanted to, like if she was in her room, I could click on the microphone and say something and she would hear me, which is pretty cool. And the quality, I mean, this is only the first day I've had it, but I'm impressed. So the reason I love it so much is because I can actually see her when I'm like two hours away 
like not even in the same vicinity as her. I can look on my phone and see and hear her or whoever is in the room. So technically you don't have to use this as a baby camera. It could be used anywhere throughout your house in any room and it can cover a wide range of area, like the entire room. You can sweep with your finger across to move the camera. I've used this where I was out on a date with my husband and we were 10 minutes away and it worked. And then also when we were an hour and a half away in a different state um, and it worked as well. So I really, really like that feature. The only con that I would say it has is the light. There is a little light on the front of the camera. I just wish it didn't have that light because of course light can sometimes affect your baby's sleep. Some babies don't care. Sometimes I do leave the nightlight on for her, so it's not that big of a deal. And then the app itself is very kind of sketchy, like it sometimes takes a while to load, so that can definitely be improved. But if the app was improved and the little light was like, somehow you can like shut it off or hide it, then it would be amazing. Like I really, really, I still enjoy it now, just those few things to note. The next thing, is my new favorite and I haven't been using these for long, but I already love them. They are Impress Nails. I'm not like a huge fake nail type of person or fake really anything type of person. Ironically, I'm wearing fake eyelashes today as I film this video, but normally I am like more on the natural side of things. But that being said, I really wish I did my nails more often as a mother. As you can see, I do not have them on right now but they look like this these are the medium length which i have not tried i tried the short length and i love them they feel like your actual nail like they're not obnoxiously long they don't interfere with any like of your daily tasks i'm i was never worried about scratching sage or anything like the short length which most of them are are the perfect length, but I did get a medium just because I wanted to try them out and see how they are. Not sure if I'm gonna like them or not, but the short ones definitely, definitely are a win in my book because there's no glue required, there's no dry time, and they stay on for a surprisingly long time. Mine stayed on, I kind of peeled them off. Well, I did peel them off after seven days, but they were on my nails for a full seven days without any of them falling off or anything. I just am that type of person that like, if there's something artificial on me, eventually I'm gonna start like picking at it and like, I just want it off. As much as I love them, you know, that makes sense. I don't know. I'm really weird like that. The next one is the Yeti vacuum. I actually have two of them and it's just wonderful for hands-free cleaning. My husband is actually obsessed with this thing. He is the one who is the tech guy. Like he loves tech gear, electronics and things like that. And he loves this. Like, so him loving a product is a big deal. So do I. And so does my daughter. It's funny like she always waves to it she goes hi yeti back in the mornings um but yeah so basically you just set it and forget it and it's great because it cuts my vacuuming time down drastically and as a mom to one and going to be too soon i need all the time that i can get not cleaning like uh, vacuuming is actually one of my favorite household chores to do however it is very time consuming so to have the Yeti vac go around every single night and just clean the main spaces is a big help and it saves me so much time. So I definitely recommend checking that out. And it also mops, which is amazing. The next thing is a Graco high chair. It is technically for my daughter, but more for me because we had the Ikea height chair, the typical antelope Ikea height chair that everyone has. And I really liked it because it was slim. It was modern. It was whatever, right? And it was super, super cheap. However, the past, I'd say month and a half, two months, she has been getting out of like the bottom strap part, like wiggling herself out of the chair and standing up, which is a major danger hazard concern for me so it's stressing me out i can barely walk away from her because i'm scared that she's gonna flop out of it and break her neck or something because it doesn't have the top straps so i got this graco height chair again it's not really the specific product that i'm promoting it's more a height chair like this um i do really like this one we've only had it for about 
a week, but I really like it because the top tray comes off, which the Ikea one did not. So it's super easy to clean. I can like take the top off and it has the top straps, which is the most important thing. So it has top straps that go over or over her shoulders and then her waist. So it's super secure. And then the tray. So when I remove the tray, she's still secure in there. Like she won't just fall out. So I can take the messy tray off. So when I clean her hands, she doesn't just stick them right back in the food like she often did. I wish it was just like a one hand removable tray thing. And I know they do have those, but this one was the cheapest high chair I found with the best reviews. So that's why I got it. And the tray is also much bigger than the Ikea tray. So there's not as much of a mess on the floor for me to clean up, which is another major bonus. So I definitely recommend this high chair. Also, it does collapse, like it folds up, which again, the Ikea chair does not. So if you're having a party, an event, or just tight on space and need to like fold it away during any time, it does fold up very easily. The next thing is a funny one you'll probably laugh at, but it is nature's promise frozen waffles. <laughs> now I say these are a mommy favorite because I've been eating them for the past probably five, four months ever since I discovered them. Not every day, obviously, but there are some weeks where I pretty much have them every single day. And I also give them to my daughter because it's a super quick and convenient, pretty healthy breakfast when I'm just super tired in the morning, but my daughter's like super hangry and I'm hangry and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like making homemade waffles. So I just pop it in the toaster oven for two minutes, bam, breakfast is served. They're the tastiest waffles that I've personally had that are gluten-free since I am gluten-free. Wild blueberry is our favorite. So yeah, I really like those. All right, two more, well no, three more. This next one is Dossier's Floriental Brown Sugar Perfume. So, uh, <coughs> tip, don't spray perfume on yourself and then try to talk one second later. Give it a second to settle in. <coughs> so I am very, very picky when it comes to perfume scents and also I stopped wearing perfume for years because of the amount of toxic chemicals and additives that are in most perfumes. However, when Dossier reached out to me and they wanted to send me some, um, I said, okay, sure, why not? Because I see they're made with a lot of essential oils and they don't have a lot of the bad stuff that is in most conventional perfumes, whether you knew it or not, they're in there, but they're not in dossiers. So I'm like, all right, I'll give it a shot. I like their Floriental Brown Sugar Scent. Um, they were so kind that they sent me a few perfumes. I did not like either any of them and they were kind enough to send me more perfumes of my cho choosing and i finally found this one that i actually like and enjoy and wear pretty often so right off the bat i like their company they do smell good it's just not for me so there's probably definitely a perfume that you can find on their website that you love for me it's floriental brown sugar because i was really looking for something that was like warm vanilla-y a little sweet a little cozy and that is definitely this one and my husband likes this one as well my husband actually likes one of the other scents that i received but i just don't like it like i said they smell good just i'm very picky and especially now that i'm pregnant my sense of smell is just like off the chain <laughs> so yeah i definitely recommend you check out dossier's perfumes they are really really good priced um, there's no luxury markups. They're really good, affordable, and they last like all day long. It's not like one of those cheap sprays that you just spray and an hour later, you're like, where'd the scent go? Like they stay on pretty much the entire day, which is pretty awesome. All right, the last two things are probably my top mommy favorites of the past few months. So the first one is the Ilia True Serum Concealer and I'll explain why in a moment. And then the next one is the Alima Pure Satin Matte Eyeliner in Espresso. Now, first I'm gonna talk about why this concealer is my mommy favorite. I mean, I have two because this is my new bottle. However, I will know I am the shade Kava, if you're wondering, if you, you know, for shade reference, I know finding your shade can be tricky. I'm the shade Kava, however, this is my old bottle and this is my new bottle. The shade is a slightly different. I don't know why 
you know, I guess maybe they changed their formulation a tiny bit, um, but the new one is a tiny bit lighter than my old one. This one was had a little bit more of a orangey hue to it, and this one has more of a lighter apricot, not apricot, because apricot's like peach. Um, it's, it has more of yellow, so it's like more brightening, um, whereas this is more just blends in to my face. I don't know, either way, my shade is Kava. Um, so I love it because mom life and I have bags under my eyes constantly, whether I get enough sleep or not. So when I put on my Ilia concealer underneath my eyes and then my Alima Pure eyeliner, which I do not use as eyeliner, I just apply it with this little brush here. I put it on as eyebrow like stuff, like to fill in my eyebrows to make them not look so sparse. And guys, these two products, make me feel like a whole new woman and sometimes that is literally all i do i put a little bit of concealer do my brows real real quick and i feel like i look and feel 10 times better i feel more put together because i look more put together and sometimes i'll throw on a coat of mascara and i just feel like a whole new woman so i definitely recommend these two products if you guys aren't like huge makeup people or you just literally don't have time because mom life to do your makeup like I'm wearing today. I am definitely more glam today than I am 99% of the time. But my husband's home, so if my daughter wakes up from her nap, it's okay because he can watch her and I can still film. So I had time to do my makeup today. But most days he's at work and I do not. So these two products plus a mascara go miles when it comes to how you look and how you feel. All right, everyone, and that is going to conclude today's video. I know it was more of a lengthy one, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave your comments down below and share with me your current mommy favorites. I'm sure my mommy favorites will change in a few months, um, and I'll make another video if you guys want me to. So yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.